In this video, we're going to start looking at coordinate geometry, and in particular, the equation of a circle. Before we start the unit, I want to give a couple of quick tips. The first one is to draw things. If in doubt, sketch it out. Often the more complicated questions become relatively straightforward if we have a picture in front of us. The second tip is to revise or learn circle theorem and basic angle facts. What we're going to do is start off by looking at the equation of a circle where we have the center at the origin. We can write that now in the form x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, where r is the radius. So what I'm going to do is just draw a quick sketch. So we have our coordinate axis, and they will look something like so. So I'm going to now put on a circle, and we will give this circle an equation. So here's my rough sketch, and I'm going to say that the equation is going to be x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. This is the radius squared, so the radius is going to be equal to 2. So if we consider some points here, we're going to have now 2 comma 0. So when x is equal to 2, y would be equal to 0. So we've got our origin just here. Let's consider this point right here. This is going to be 0 comma 2. So we can see that x is equal to 0 and y will be equal to 2. We've got this point just here and we've got now minus 2 comma 0. We can say that x is going to be equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 0. We have this point right here, and this is going to be 0, comma, minus 2. We can say that x is going to be equal to 0, and y is going to be equal to minus 2. We can see that these four points satisfy this equation right here. x squared plus y squared is equal to 4, so we've got a radius of 2. As we can see, all we've got now is this locus of points, or a set of points now, that obey this rule. So I could pick another point. Let's pick a point just here. I'm going to have now an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. The x-coordinate is going to be root 2, and the y-coordinate is going to be root 2. So if I square root 2, that's going to give me 2. If I square root 2, that's going to give me 2, and that equals 4. So that's a point now on our circle. If we consider what the equation of a circle is, it's basically Pythagoras. What I'm going to do is draw the radius. This is the radius, and I'm going to drop down a perpendicular. So what we have now is a right angle triangle. So what I have is an x-coordinate of root 2, a y-coordinate of root 2, therefore this length is going to be root 2, this length is going to be root 2, and we can see that the length of the radius will be equal to 4. And that will be the case right the way round. So if I pick this point right here, I could have now minus root 2, comma, root 2. And again, that would satisfy the equation. So this is the general form that we give the equation of a circle when we have the centre 0, comma, 0. So if we look at some examples of that, we might have x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. So this would give us now a circle, centre 0, 0, and we have a radius now of 3. If we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 3, we have the equation of a circle, centre 0, 0, and the radius is going to be the root of 3. Now be very careful. The main misconception or student error is to write at this stage now that the radius is 3. Remember, this is the radius squared. What we're now going to look at is the equation of a circle where the centre isn't the origin. And what we're going to have now is the general form for that equation. And it's x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to r squared. This gives us now the equation of a circle with centre a comma b and a radius now of r. So what we have, our centre is going to be a comma b and we have the radius of r. Do remember this is not now, so this uh, value right here is the radius squared. What I'm going to do is quickly show this. This is again basic Pythagoras. So what we're going to do is take now the centre a comma b. 
So if we sketch that up, I'm going to put that just here. So let's say we put A comma B here. And again, it doesn't matter how inaccurate this is. So we have this point right here. So that might be, for example, four, five. What I'm now going to do is draw a circle and it's gonna have that center right there. We're gonna pick some point on the circumference of that circle and I'll pick a point just here. Now that point we call X, Y. So this is a general point on the circumference of the circle. So what we've got here is x comma y. We've got a comma b here and x comma y. If we consider now a basic right angle triangle, what we're going to do is form a radius. So that is the radius. So I could have that at any point now on the circle. What I'm going to do at this point now is just draw across and drop the perpendicular down. If we consider the two distances we have now, this length right here is going to be x minus a. So what we can say is x minus a. That now is the length just here. Let's just write here, x minus a. If we now consider this length right here, this is going to be y minus b. If we go ahead now and square x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared, we will get this length right here and that is the radius. And this will now give us the radius squared. It's Pythagoras. All we're doing now is taking some point. So let's say we now gave some coordinates. Let's just say that, let's make this nice and straightforward. Let's say that this is going to be 10 comma 8. And let's say this is going to be 6 comma, and let's go for 5. So if we consider what we have now, I'm just going to draw this up to the side. We've got now a right angle triangle. So if we just put these in, let's go ahead and do that. We will just put that in. So what I've done, I've given now the center of a circle, these two points, and they are the coordinates. So if we consider now 10 minus six is gonna be four. We've now got eight minus five, which is gonna be three. Therefore, we've got a three, four, five triangle, and the radius is gonna be five units. So I could now write the equation of this particular circle as x minus six all squared plus y minus five all squared is equal to the radius squared and that's going to give me 25. And that's the general form that we could put this in. So we could go ahead and write a number of different equations to circles. So for example, if we had now a center of one comma four and now a radius of six we could write this as x minus one all squared plus y minus four all squared is equal to the radius squared which will give us 36. if we have a center of minus two comma six and a radius of root five we could write this as x minus minus two which is going to give us x plus two all squared plus the quantity y minus six all squared is going to be equal to the radius squared which is five so this now gives us the equation of a circle center negative two comma six radius root five this one one comma four radius six so all this is now is pythagoras and we can see that this point right here will always be a fixed length of five units from the center and that's what forms the radius in later videos, we're going to look at the different way that we can write the equation of a circle. For now, I just want to look at a couple on a graphing calculator. So what we're going to do now is have these two circles. So the purple one, x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to c squared. I've called it c squared, it really doesn't matter. So at the moment, we've got a and b both equal to zero. That tells me now that that's at the origin. I've got c to be one, and that's telling me now we have a radius of one unit. If I now take this out to two, we can see now that this is going to be four here. So I've got a radius now of four, uh, of two, and then the radius squared of four. Now I could move this, and all this is showing us now is a horizontal and a vertical translation in the plane. So let's now do b, and then we will take this now to minus one. So we can see that that's lifted it up. If we just swap these over, let's make that a little clearer to see. I could now move this to the right. So the equation of the circle 
is x minus 1 all squared plus y minus 1 all squared is equal to 4. I could move that again and I could move that out so we had a centre 2 comma 1. I could move it in the opposite direction. So if we now move this and we went the other way, this would now give us, if we get that in place, x plus 1 all squared plus y minus 1 all squared is going to be equal to 4. If I took this the other way, we can just move that around. So we can see now the equation of a circle is simply Pythagoras and it's moving around. So with this, we can see now that I can take it back down to zero, which is going to give me no radius. And then I can make that radius as big as I want. And the same with this one right here. So this is just now another circle. So we can see with this one, we've got a center. And let's just look at that one. We've got a center of one comma one and a radius of one. So if I wanted now, I could take the radius out to 2 on this one. Let's see if that's going to... Uh, let's just go ahead. Let's grab this up. Uh, where are we with... Uh, there we go. Let's take that out. That's the one I want. And we can see now that that is going to have a radius of 2. We still got now the centre at 1, 1, but we could move that around if we want. We could take that back down to the origin. So this now gives us the general form for the equation of a circle. That's a brief introduction. In later videos, we're going to look at some circle theorem that we can use and also problems involving the equation of a circle. So there's a basic introduction and by the end of watching this video, hopefully now you can put the equation of a circle in the form x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to r squared, where the centre of the circle is a comma b and the radius is r units.